my natural hair color is this. And when I was about 12 years old, I begged my mom to let me dye my hair any color. And she said no, until I pushed her hard enough and she let me dye my hair red. I saw Acacia Kersey had red hair and I showed it to her and I was like, mom, this is the most natural, not natural color I can do. Please let me. And she let me do it. And I had red hair for years. I really pushed the boundaries of this red hair and I did really bright red hair at one point. That was when I was 15. And then when I was 16, I dyed it black and I had the most beautiful, long, perfect, I think I had extensions, but only a couple inches, perfect hair. And what did I decide to do to? I bleached the ever loving shit out of it and I ruined my hair. I spent like $300 to get it fixed and then I decided to ruin it again. I bleached my roots at home. It came out horribly. So I dyed my hair brown and I cut it off because that's what you do when you ruin your hair. After growing it out for a while, I had bangs for a hot second. This was my senior prom and then I got bored. So I dyed my hair dark red, just like I had when I was 15. And then I start lightening the ends little by little until bam, I do this bright ass pink on the end. I did blue ends. This was actually my wedding day. I'm trying to get out of the way so I can show you. I did this really beautiful purple, like multiple color thing, which by the way, I always dyed my hair myself and I'm very proud of this one. I did green and then I start feeling insecure about the color. So I let it grow out. I let the color fade and I just kind of have this ombre beautiful thing. But then I just dyed it dark, like almost exactly what I have now. And I had that for months. My hair was beautiful. It was luscious. It was healthy. And then what did I decide to do? Mid pandemic. Bam! I chopped it off and I dyed it lavender. I bleached the ever loving fuck out of my hair. Then I did this like neon pink shade, which I absolutely fell in love with. And then I just kind of kept dyeing my hair a similar color to that. I grew my hair out. It got kind of pretty and healthy again. But we all know I'm incapable of having healthy hair for long. So I bleached the fuck out of my hair again. Ruined. Absolutely fried my hair. This picture is kind of a catfish because I literally had the most brittle, dry, straw feeling hair ever. It looked good. People love this picture, but it was horrible. So in the name of having healthy hair, I cut it off and I have this little French girl bob, which like was definitely cute whenever I did my makeup and my hair and everything. But when I didn't get ready, this is what I looked like all the time, literally 24 seven. <laughs> so one day I'm bleaching my roots and I absolutely ruin it. So I have to dye my hair pink. I'm forced to dye my hair pink. It's the only thing I had in my sink. I was just over it and I wanted to get rid of it. I did this really cool orange color, which I'm very proud of. I did real orange with like yellow roots. Then I had this bluish purple color for months until I literally hated it and wanted to rip my hair out of my head. I thought it was so ugly, but I couldn't let go of the colored hair. So I did a money piece that was like purple with regular brown. Then I did a red money piece. And then I just realized I wanted healthy hair and I wanted to feel pretty 24 seven, not just when I did my makeup. So I dyed my hair brown and I haven't looked back. <laughs>